Hey Masters of Speed, it's Terra Master, and welcome to my cope, Terra Master's Cope. A series, which I don't know how long it'll be, but it is a series for now, where I will give you decks that haven't won anything, have been tested only a little bit um, within Team JDG, but not much there. So uh, it's really just like a take a deck that I'm coping on could be at least like playable rogue and uh, see if anybody wants to run with it since I myself, you know, do not play all that often. So uh, let's let's see how that goes. Anyway, here is the first deck, the deck I'm going to be talking about today. That is simply called Drillroid Control. So as you can see on your screen right now, this deck does in fact... <clears throat> This deck does, in fact, use the Beware of the Brothers Paradox skill. And that is why we run three Sangha the Thunder. This is your kind of boss monster, your finisher, your uh, aggro option. A lot of things, a lot of purposes served with this one card. Um, then, obviously, the deck is called Drillroid Control. So you have three copies of Drillroid. Now, with three copies of Drillroid, uh, you should probably have a card that searches a Drillroid, at least one copy of such card. And that is why we have a Mixeroid. Now, notice uh, we only have these four as our roids and one additional machine, which gives you a slightly more of uh, aggressive capability that is Cyber Dragon. Um, and that gives you a total of five machines uh you do side deck jinzo which could give you six so maybe mixeroid comes up after you side jinzo in but it's not something i would count on or uh plan for as you can see by the extra deck already all right now we got that out of the way the two other monsters support the mechanic of the deck which is entirely to put your opponent's monsters in defense mode and then use your effects to uh, kill them so, putting monsters in defense mode is Black Brachios' entire thing. Literally, its entire effect. So yeah, you can do that. Uh, Dream Clown is interesting for that because it, when itself goes into defense mode, can actually go ahead and just destroy monsters on your opponent's side of the field. And uh, this is teched in because it combos very well with all our trap cards, specifically. We have a Labyrinth of Nightmare on one and three copies of zero gravity. Now, Labyrinth of Nightmare is really good for the reason of it can just put your opponent's monsters into defense mode for a Drillroid to attack into, or obviously it puts your own Dream Crown into defense mode to go ahead and just destroy a monster your opponent controls. Uh, zero gravity, same concept there, and zero gravity will also protect you from attacks. By putting attacking monsters into defense mode same thing with a book of moon except book of moon doesn't obviously work with dream clown uh shield crush also combines with all these cards meant to switch your opponent monsters to defense mode and uh yeah so shield crush droid gets rid of monsters dream clown combines with your traps to get rid of monsters uh brachios is another like trap pseudo trap sort of thing to you know go ahead and put monsters in defense to, to trigger their effects uh, to trigger your effects, sorry. <clears throat> uh, Cyber Dragon again, is, and the Sanghas are for the aggressiveness because once you destroy your opponent's monsters, you do have to get at their life points. Somehow, this is still a deck that tries to win the game by attacking. Now, all that being said, um, you do play the Beware the Paradox Brother skill, and as such, Angel 07 becomes an absolutely terrifying card for any deck that has this skill. If your opponent is relying heavily on monster effects, you side in Angel 07. If you get it out, you might auto win some games. Uh, Jinzo does the same thing to trap cards, trap heavy decks, you summon Jinzo. You might win the game right then and there. Um, you got Double Dust Tornado, once again, for those back row heavy decks. This can hit things like Blaze Accelerator, you know, Nightmare Wheel, all those kind of pesky things that if your opponent's on and they hold you back from doing your thing, go ahead and do that Dust Tornado thing. Straight Flush, same concept. You can hit your Crystal Beast or your stall decks with this Straight Flush. Cool stuff. Uh, Waking the Dragon, so if your opponent is uh, seeing your traps and uh, is annoyed by them and wants to try to get them off the field ASAP, you slip in the waking and you hit them with, you know, Dragoon, Cyber End, Ojama King, whatever it is, standard, standard extra deck here. 
nothing special. So yeah, uh, draw word control. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, if you do end up playing this deck, let me know how it does. But until then, I am labeling it Cope. So uh, prove me wrong or make it better if you have any ideas to make it better. Why not? But yeah, until the next Terra Masters Cope, Terra Master out. <laughs>